Hey guys, what's up? This is Damon's Tech. I'm here in my Christmas jumper today because it's snowing outside. So today I want to talk about something that isn't quite a quick tip, but I think any gamers out there with Macs might find this useful. And I know what you're thinking, real gamers don't use Macs, but if you have a PlayStation 3 and you have a Mac, pretty much every Mac has Bluetooth built in, and so does the PlayStation 3 6-axis controller, so it's not too hard really to connect the two together. So the whole process is pretty easy, it only takes 5 minutes max, and the last thing you'll need, apart from your computer and the controller itself, is a mini USB cable. They look like this, I'll give you guys a close-up over here so you know what they look like, and uh, you'll just need this to connect your controller into your computer when you're setting it up and you should have one of these they come with the controllers anyway and uh, pretty much everything comes with one of these lately so you should have at least one of these in your house I know I have about 10 of these so uh, once you have that your controller and your computer you're ready to go so the first thing we have to do is disable the Bluetooth on the computer we're going to connect our controller to, as well as any other computers nearby that might have Bluetooth switched on. Uh, this includes the console that you usually have your controller connected to, so make sure you turn off or plug out the PlayStation 3 console that is usually connected to your controller, uh, just in case it causes confusion with our setup. So to turn off Bluetooth on your Mac, go up to your Apple menu, choose System Preferences, and when that opens, choose Bluetooth. And just make sure the on box is unchecked. So once you have that done, you're going to reset your controller by inserting a paper clip into the reset hole, which is just underneath the controller right here, to the left of the L2 button. So if you just turn your controller upside down like this, you should see a little uh, hole just to the left of the L2 button right here. So if you insert a paper clip in there for one to two seconds, it should reset, and then you're ready to connect your controller to your computer via USB. So here I have a paper clip, and I'm just going to insert this into the back of the PlayStation controller right here, uh, just in the reset hole, you see it right here. Just press and hold for about one or two seconds, you should hear it click, and let go. The controller is now reset. Get your USB cable, one end is plugged into the computer, the other end plugged into the back of the DualShock 3 controller. Put it back down again, and then back on your computer, turn on Bluetooth again. And with your controller, press and hold on the PlayStation button for about two seconds until you see the lights start flashing red. Then plug the cable back out again and you're ready to pair up with your computer. Now this next part might be a little tricky for some people because it depends. Bluetooth devices can be a little awkward sometimes. When I plug it in, it actually seems to come up in my Bluetooth devices automatically. Just like this. I just plugged it in right there. So um, it seems to connect when I plug out the cable again. Let me just plug it out, and um, there you go. It seems to connect automatically, so I don't know what that is. That just seems to be my setup here. But if it doesn't work, you can click the plus button down here, and the Bluetooth setup will open up, and it should come up in the list here. If it asks you for a passcode, all you have to type in is 0000. So four zeros, and click pair, and it should work for you. So it seems to be pretty simple, um, according to this, but your circumstance might be different. So just play around with that. It should connect pretty easily in the end. So there you have it, that is how to connect a PlayStation 3 controller to a Mac. It worked for me, hopefully it works for you guys too, but of course there is no guarantee because this isn't officially supported, so it mightn't work, so don't be disappointed if it doesn't work. But hopefully it does, if it doesn't, make sure you comment below and tell me what you think or what happens, I'll try and help you guys. But uh, thanks for watching, make sure you click subscribe for more videos like these, and I'll see you next time.